Hooters Girl Save the Golf with Project Pantyhose is Afghanistan the Saudi Arabia of Lithium and it's Rand Paul versus the Mountains. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Wednesday, June 16th. The Hooters girls have long been renowned for their flesh-coloured pantyhose, which they're now using to save the planet. All 380 Hooter restaurants are asking waitresses to donate their used industrial strength pantyhose to Project Pantyhose, which has set a leggy goal of collecting more than 100,000 pairs. A matter of trust and Indigo Ocean will use them to create 15 miles of booms with the potential to soak up 1 million gallons of oil. Who would have thought the Hooter Girls' second most famous asset would be a viable solution to cleaning up the Gulf? The US has discovered a $1 trillion jackpot in untapped mineral deposits in Afghanistan, far beyond the known reserves and possibly enough to pull the country out of dire poverty. The New York Times reports of huge veins of iron, copper, cobalt, gold and critical industrial metals like lithium, which could shape the future of the electric vehicle market, given lithium is used in the batteries of the next generation electric vehicles like the Nissan Leaf, Chevy Volt and Daimler Smart Cars. China will certainly benefit from increased lithium reserves as it recently overtook the US as the largest car manufacturer in the world. And finally, we hate to make a mountain out of a molehill, but we got to call out GOP Senate candidate Rand Paul, who, when questioned about mountaintop removal, said no one will miss a hill or two. Hmm. Perhaps Mr. Paul needs reminding that mountaintop removal destroys fragile ecosystems and makes communities very, very sick. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.